Yeah. Well, see, this one's going that way. Um. All right, so let me get this straight. So this, so this goes this way, and then this goes that way too. I think so. So the yeah. sewer, so the sewer is out here. Yeah. So there isn't a city sewer that runs down here. Mm, no, I think it's all running this way, uh, east and west. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. See, there's a sewer here. So this is where they are. This is where they are. Up until when it goes that side. Right. So you want it from here to here. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer because yeah. this is going uphill, but your sewer line is going downhill. Yeah. So I'd assume from here to there is pretty freaking deep, and we got all these trees. It's like almost five, four and a half foot down. Here. Right. Yeah. So that means that's three and a half foot. Yeah. So what are we gonna do with all these trees? Um, well, what we're thinking is we we're gonna just run it straight to the house from here and just leave that there. That might be a great idea. Yeah. But we still got to get from here past these yeah. trees. Get into the yard, so you dig in, and that's all trees too. Pretty much, yeah. My friend has a small trencher. He was gonna dig do the digging. Well, if you do the digging, I'll come lay the pipe. Okay, so as far as as far as that that uh, elbow. So up, the problem with the trencher, okay, at four and a half feet deep. Yeah. A trencher will help because it'll go through a lot of the roots. Yeah. But like, I I need a hole like this wide. Oh really? Yeah. Is that wide and then four foot, four foot deep? It might even be like this wide. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why, why do you need it so wide? Because it's above my head. Okay. I, like, you got to get in there and work. So if you cut oh, a trench this big, okay. yeah. Yeah, I got yeah. I got to physically re, re Right. You see what I'm saying? You have to reach down there. Yeah, I see. Yeah. And then we got to start here where your sewer line is. Dig it up here and see how deep it is. And that's how we start our hole. Okay. You know what I mean? Because say this is two feet deep. Well, we yeah. can start at two feet deep and, and just go quarter inch per foot that way. Yeah. So like we'd have to dig all the way down there and expose the pipe because that's where it goes. Right. And then we can kind of go like this. Yeah. So we don't have to stay four and a half feet deep the whole way if we don't need to. That's what uh, I'm saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. But we have to start at that height because okay. I can't make that lower or higher. Right. Okay. But this is going to suck. Yeah. Um, is that concrete over there too, Walkler? Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a torrential nightmare. Well, I just, to me, I usually do this stuff with a shovel. Like four and a half feet, to me, I can dig it, but like this is a problem. Yeah. This, this is a problem. Right. This is not digging, this is like axing. Right. And I, and I, I, I can't ax this far. Sure. And being on the street, it's like really high, really high um, level of getting caught. Like seeing, like that, that means they got to bring in a whole nother level, like caution tape and barricades. Uh, right. yeah. and I don't have uh, the, I don't have the insurance to, um, I have a $2 million insurance policy to work uh, in the city of Eureka. Okay. But to work on this side, you have to have a $2 million blanket policy on vehicles and pedestrians because we're working on the. Yeah. And I don't have that insurance. Yeah. So for me, like, if it was something that we could get done in a feasible amount, like where I could dig it and put it back in one day, I would do something like that for you. But if I have to dig it and barricade it and then have them come inspect it and then leave it open overnight type deal, then I get worried. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Because I'm just an honest, like, tell you a straight shooter, like, this sucks. Yeah. This is this, this is sucky. Well, it's got to be in here somewhere. But like, that's the thing is you don't put high high pressure jets on clay sewer line. Have you ever seen them? They're packed with mortar. Yeah. So like, you get one earthquake and they. Yeah. They're not. I mean, they're really smooth pipes, but yeah. every joint is like uh, roots, and and the joints are only this far. Right. So when I snake them, it's like. I feel my snake go bing and they chew on it. They oh, go really? for bing uh -huh. and they chew on it. Uh -huh. Bing, they chew on it. Well, that's what the city did. They put high pressure jets in it from there. You know, you got to think about to cut a, a pile of roots. They got to use like two, three thousand psi. Yeah. And you're just blowing up every joint. Right. Like it'll chew through steel at a certain point of pressure. Uh -huh. You know. Yeah. So the thing is, the clay pipes can't take that jet. 
Yeah. So they, they break them every time. That's what Mr. Reuter does and Rotor Reuter. They come out and they go, oh, well, high pressure jet it for you. And they break your line. And then they charge you 12 grand to fix your sewer line. Uh huh. Wow. It's like a it's like a racket. Wow. It's like they do it on purpose. Crazy. They go, oh, we'll come and get it and break your line. And then they got you on the hook. Man. Now, now your shit's not blown. So I don't know, brother. I don't know what you want to do. Either way around it, I just I see nothing but roots, man. Yeah. And like, I'll, I'll just be honest. Like, roots take time. Yeah. Like if it was like over here. Yeah. And I could just dig through butter. I get a tarp. Right. I chunk the lawn, put the lawn over here, and I put the dirt on the tarp. Oh yeah. And I just dig. Yeah. And it's, and it's soil, not roots. Right. And then and then I put the dirt back put the lawn back and I can make it look pretty snazzy. Yeah. But if I'm digging through roots, it's not even digging at that point. It's like you got an ax, then shovel, yeah. and then ax, then shovel, right. then ax, then right. shovel. And this is like, no matter which way around it, you got serious roots. So let, let me- And ask, over there has to be hand dug because there's electrical underneath the ground. Right. So uh, now if we do all the digging, could you uh, give us an estimate to put the pipe in? And that I kind? mean, it just depends on how good the trench is, brother. Uh huh. Like so, if I come in and tune up the trench, right? I'm an hourly rate, so I right. charge 105 an hour plus parts. Uh huh. And I'll be honest, right now, COVID prices, the ABS like tripled. Uh huh. Sucks. Wow. So something like this, I would normally say, put a clean out on that side and a clean out on this side, and then what? 60, 80 feet of pipe, and then you got like 10 fittings. Um, you'd be looking somewhere around 600 bucks, but now it's gonna be 1800. Okay. Wow. Plus a day of labor for me yeah. to come out here and do it. Yeah. And then you got to do it in a way where I only have certain fittings. Uh huh. So like you can't dig like a trench like. Right. right. You have to go like. Right. Exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And it has to be like perfectly sloped. Right. Okay. We can't have any of this because then when you backfill the pipe, we'll have like bellies. Yeah. It, it's kind of it, it, it's not rocket science, but like. The best sewer line will be done by the best person who can do the trench. Okay. Does that make sense? Like your your if your trench sucks, your plumbing will suck. Right. right. If your trench is awesome, your plumbing will be awesome. Yeah. That's just how it is in the plumbing world. So like yeah. I get intense, man. My my I shave them. Uh huh. Pack them. I, I bring my little tamp and I tamp it and then get it like. Okay. That way, when you set whatever you want to set on it, it's okay. done. It's done. All right. Never gonna have a problem. So and that's just the labor part. Laying the pipe's easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like laying the pipe, I knock that out real oh, yeah. quick. Yeah. If the trench is done right. Yeah. But if the trench isn't done right, then I come out and I struggle because I Yeah. So uh let's see now uh this this clean out here now uh if we go from there just straight to there rather than coming down here and over. Let me see the clean. Okay. So I usually get like a forty five.